In this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a multi instance for your uh, um, shitty app exploit, whatever. Now we're doing some C++. Of course, you can do this in C sharp. It's the same, pretty much same thing. This is I'm gonna call this multi instance, and uh, it's pretty easy. I'm also gonna be opening Roblox. So we're gonna start off by making the multi instance. Once oh two wait so. How this works is that once you, I'll demonstrate it in Ida real quick. So I have to wait for this to analyze, but I'll show you guys what the mutex is called. So it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna do some includes and we're gonna start off. So we can start off by doing set wait. And of course, it's really simple. It's like two lines of code, three lines. Set console title. There's no error keys on my keyboard, so I don't have to type like this. So we're doing like F. And then Now the mutex it has a name, which I will show you guys. I think I forgot it. So send to mutex starting handle Roblox mutex equals. Okay, so this gonna be zero zero. And I actually forgot the name. Yep, don't hit on me. Um, okay, so nice. Stop. It was Roblox. I just forgot the name, so I'm gonna have to wait for Ida to analyze real quick. So yeah, I'll see the. Never mind. So I got the thing because uh, I have a, I have a Roblox exploit link in the description that I also use it. I just got it from there. So it's called Roblox Singleton Mutex. That is the that is the name of the mutex. Now we're gonna put in here starting if Roblox mutex equal equal zero. And, and so this will check if it well if it failed to create it. So I'm gonna just exit because I don't think you could just make like an exception saying mutex error. So we're just gonna pause it if it's no, and then uh, so this will check. Wait, was it get error last? Get last. All right, so just this will check um, to see if it already exists. already exists else okay. start system parse alright so now we're going to compile this up and test it out on roblox now I gotta close this real quick so because I don't want to get banned I want to get oh it loaded okay never mind all right, so we're gonna build it up and we're gonna start it. It is correct. 
Oh, I forgot to add. Okay, I forgot to add split. Okay, I'm stupid. There we go. Now we're gonna start this up before Roblox even opens. So it has to do it before, you know. So let's, let's try it out. Oh, I forgot to set the content. Okay, so that's, that's okay. So it should work. And you can't leave it, otherwise it's gonna close the actual instance. So now we should be able to do this. Not to start it, you just right click on your Roblox thing and it should work. There it is, it works. And obviously you can sign out, you can do it. I did make a video on it, so pretty much it's pretty much done. Um, you could just log out, it won't do anything. Now for the, uh, if you use a Roblox exploit for auto farming, Try to use wave or something, but there we go. We can meet each other in the game. So there's a bit of a problem. You have to join a game because it keeps refreshing if you're in the game or not. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you have to first join a game. You can't just stay on homepage. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna join the little uh, base play, base play, and. Uh, Oops. And then we're gonna join from our alt. Now, obviously, if he's an exploit, he's probably gonna crash. I could try it out just for the sake of the video. But if we join, there we go. There we go. You see myself right there. So yeah, that works. That's pretty much how you do it. You can also do it in C sharp. It's just it's the same, pretty much the same thing. You can use uh, DLL imports, but that's how you do it. And uh, by chat, by skips, by sigmas.